Hello, my name is Mark Cobbin. I'm the manager of the Family Support and Bereavement Services here at Farley Hospice. And the fundraising team have asked me to um, record this video for you just to say a little bit about the impact that the fundraising events have on the work that we do here at Farley. I certainly know that for my particular department, the impact is enormous, really. We wouldn't be able to function without the generosity of the public and also our fundraising team who put together all these marvellous events to raise the funds that we need. In the family support department um, there are a number of professionals in the team and they include social workers, uh, support workers, counsellors and they provide support to families, to patients, to carers leading up to the time of somebody's death and in their work they offer a lot of particular advice and guidance and things and part of the perhaps unseen aspect of fundraising is the training that they need to be able to do that. If you have to offer specialist benefits advice etc then you need specialist training to do that and that's perhaps a, a hidden aspect of fundraising um, and the contributions that we receive. With the carers we offer um, pamper days, we offer lots of activities um, including coffee mornings and drop-ins um, and other activities and those are all funded through the work that the fundraising events uh, bring us. In the bereavement service then we have our adult service and a lot of the activities that take place there particularly the activity days that we um, organise, um, the groups that we hold in various locations here and our bereavement help points out in the community plus of course we have a huge team of volunteers who all need training, they need support, they need supervision, they need guidance um, and all of that is funded through the staff who are here um, through a very small team but they of course need support, supervision, training, guidance and all of that is paid for through the amazing donations that you give us. Certainly last year we saw in excess of 890 clients through the bereavement service and we couldn't provide that level of service without um, the support from fundraising. In addition, we have our children's project, the Yo-Yo Project, um, and of course a lot of their work is based in schools, but a lot of it's done here. Um, and to do that, we need various things like art materials, uh, we need craft materials. Um, the team need to be able to access various resources, including books, um, particularly specialist workbooks, and a lot of that is paid for through the fundraising donations that we get. Um, so with those activities, the um, Yo-Yo Project also provide a family meal. We, took, we had one yesterday evening uh, where we had a magician um, and we had a, a meal um, and various games and activities. And a lot of that work is paid for through the fundraising events. Um, the other aspect, of course, of all of our, the work that we do is just providing that individual support and for our team to be constantly updated, again, the training, the education that they need, um, that is also paid for through fundraising events. And last year we had over 250 referrals into the children's service. Um, so there's a lot of activity that goes on, a lot of work that is constant year round and always needing that extra something that the public give us. So we really, really appreciate very much the generosity of the public and also to the hard work that our fundraising team put in to provide us with those assets, those materials, those resources to enable us to do our jobs as best we can.